Michael Buble is an animal. And apparently, I just found out, his manager, Bruce, was upset because I was hitting his back with my purse and he has back problems. Poor guy, he probably had no idea what was going on. <laughs> I tried my best. Saskatoon, it's the 2007 Juno Awards, hosted by Nelly Furtado. Hey, this is Nelly Furtado, and this is my Juno's moment. Okay. And welcome to the Juno Awards. I actually wanted to be wearing a, like a big bird costume, like something more like goofy and ugly. Like I pictured like yellow feathers. Tonight, two of my dreams are coming true. I'm hosting the Junos. I was like, what happened to my big bird idea? And I'm flying like a bird. Be a goofy bird, like a dodo bird, anything. Beautiful Saskatoon. I guess I just, I don't know what I wanted to express my unique sense of humor as best as I could. <laughs> hey, don't look up there! It's challenging, because you're not only up there, you're also singing a song, you're also trying to be funny and make jokes and you have a script, so. I feel like people thought I was serious. They thought that I actually wanted, like, that I wasn't being tongue-in-cheek. There's a lot of bald people in Saskatoon. She had technical difficulties. She did not land, but that was part of the joke. I don't know about my comedic timing, to be honest. <laughs> I tried my best. I think when you're hosting a show, I really think like a, a big chunk of your energy goes into like glam and wardrobe because if you're changing your hair looks, your makeup looks, your wardrobe, we wore a lot of Canadian designers, actually exclusively that year. It's just like running back and forth to my change room, changing. It's super fun, but yeah, it's like challenging. Like you, you kind of like put your mind and body to the test, I guess. Like I'm now gonna throw to my aunt. This is another moment where people literally think I'm talking to my aunt. It's like guys, it's me, dressed up. Tia Maria, hello, hola, hello. Anali, hello. This is my aunt, Tia Maria. She's so hot. I learn everything I know from her. <laughs> My name is Tia Maria. And she's a total man eater, as you see in this skit. I'm here in Vancouver to interview a canvas, Michael Bugel. Buble. Oh, Michael Bubi. Buble. Michael Bubble. How did my <laughs> niece Nelly inspire you so much? We do have a song together. It's one of my top stream songs, my song with Michael Bublé. Uh -huh. I love Nelly, but my inspiration uh -huh. has actually come from... Uh... You're jealous. <laughs> this year's not your year, it's okay. Nelly's so good. She sings, she dances, dance well. she makes a nice video clip. She's... Michael Bublé and I, um, we knew each other from recording the song Quando Quando for him. Quando? 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 Yes. I sang with her because uh, I honestly, because I think she's sexy, and I thought that maybe I could score with her, to be honest. With you. Score! Michael Bublé is an animal. And apparently, I just found out his manager, Bruce, was upset because I was hitting his back with my purse, and he has back problems. Poor guy, he probably had no idea what was going on. Oh my god. I'm like showing more leg than I've ever showed in my whole career. How do you say now in Portuguese? Agora. Agora. Nobody understood. Let's make it stop! <laughs>